I got the one, the big one that's bent. Mm. I actually oh, got that nice. from, this is from John Hart. Yeah, yeah. I was Stay about to free. say I yeah. recognize this. That little record holder. I actually did. I didn't even fucking remember that until just now. Holy shit! Uh huh. That's the one. This is the one. That's crazy. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. I was about to say. You're about to say it. I was like, God, that <laughs> is it. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's awesome. insane, man. That's fucking. <laughs> that's so cool. See, I don't know how we have never. And it doesn't make sense. So it's like it's like I don't know. I don't know how the world works, man. But it's just like something like nah, not yet, man. It was, it was probably my fault, honestly. I'm not that social, honestly. <laughs> oh, I get it. You know what I mean? Oh, that's something I worked on like a lot. Like I've definitely put myself out there in the last few years, uh, just doing anything and everything I'm doing. That dude, it, it's hard. But like, you get this like weird, you know. It feels good to be at the places then, then because people, you know, you start to recognize everybody. Right. So then it feels like you're in a crowd of your friends. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's and that's how it kind of turned out for me. You know, like, which this is awesome. I it's mean. it's fun, man. It's, 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 that's the, that was a relevant thing. Like I said, like I get the, like, dude, we've been around, and yet there John Hart is going, hey, get this motherfucker on your show. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. I, because I'm an any and everybody thing, man. I love him, fucking. Especially, I mean, dude, I'm sure you got plenty of stories about the, the strip oh, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you got a lot of my, like, Raven. Yeah. I know Raven. I didn't even know that she would even have her on here. I didn't yeah. Even know she was a yeah, yeah. She, That's crazy. Well, she's been, we worked with her for quite a few years. I went to high school with Raven. Oh, so, she, cool. yeah. Can you ready to do a little countdown for us? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Man, dude. You talking to me, I'm talking to you. And this is talking to me, talking to you. And I am joined by Noel Beeler. Howdy. Nice to see you, man. <laughs> nice to see you. It's good to meet you. Yeah. Finally, yeah. My, finally meet, actually. <laughs> the funniest thing about this is so we, we've actually been in like the same circle for like four or five years. And we've yes. literally never been in the same room. And we just met. And we actually dressed exactly the same. Oh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I got yeah, some sweatpants. Yeah, you can, you can match a little there bit. There we go. So, yeah, <laughs> we're twinning, and we've never <laughs> met each other, so we're off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's great to meet you, man. Uh, mm -hmm. The whole reason you're here is because a good friend of ours, John Hart. Oh, John uh, Hart. He he, uh, he just created a group chat. I was like, hey, no, this is Will. <laughs> Will, this is no. Meet each other. Get on the show. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. And that then... Cause I've heard, I've heard your music before. Right. I, I I know of you and stuff. Mm. So I, I, I'm kind of a fan. You know, I have one song on my, on my playlist that I've listened to. Well, yeah. That's better than Camry, most. I think okay. is. Yeah, yeah. That's it's about, a good song, that's man. I like it. Yeah. It's remind. It's cool, man. You're like you're like uh, it's rap music, but it's like melody based. Yeah. It's melody based, and you use a lot of guitar riffs, which is something I really like. Mm. And. Uh, <laughs> It's it's I mean the closest thing I could say would be like something like a little peepish, but it's different. You yes, know, you, you definitely do. You yeah. have a more pop sense to it. Almost, yeah. Like okay, yeah. I mean, I, everybody says it's little peep because that's just the everybody the knows little peep. Thing, yeah. But I have a lot of influences that it's none of them are really little peep at all. I mean, I barely well, listen to them. But well, that's what makes it even kind of cool, I right? Mean, you it, know, not to be influenced by that, but yet have a similarity to somebody that is, you know is popularized. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. It's a good sound, you know. I like it. So, so what what kind of stuff does does influence you well, to make that kind of stuff? This guy, sewer person, sewer person. He's That's literally sick. my he's he's like my idol in music in general. He okay. He used to be called Nine Tails, but like something. That's probably like a whole bunch of drama that I don't even know about. Okay. So like, he straight away from that and became sewer person and. It's just he's just I don't know. You'd have to listen to yeah. You see well, some hilarities. Yeah, it, dude, that's cool. I I because I have no idea about that. So mm -hmm. it must be kind of is he like underground for the most part? Yes, he's got forty k on SoundCloud. Oh, okay. so it's that's cool though, man. I mean, I I dude, I'm with you on it because like a lot of them. I listen to a lot of like alternative Midwesty kind of mm. weird like dorky mm. alternative rock. You know what I'm saying? Same, 
And uh, dude, some of these guys that listen to have like a hundred people that listen to them on Spotify, right? And right. And, and and but their music is kick ass. Exactly. Know? It's like I love listening to random weird bands. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> trust me, I, I do. I'll find stuff and I'm like, wait, that only has 132 and it's on my recommended. Um, let me Click let me it. listen to an album, see if I like a song. <laughs> mm-hmm. If I like a song, I'm gonna add to the playlist, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then it's, it just goes from there. And then mm-hmm. next thing you know, I know these people's music. Right. It right. sucks, man, because it's like you'll never get to see those people unless you go to their city. Exactly. And see a show at their in their places, you know, just like this, like yeah, you know, every city has their little scene of musicians. Mm-hmm. You know, we're in Cincinnati, so we know a bunch of them, but right? And we which, get to enjoy it. I mean, I just drove up to Cleveland because he, I've been listening to him since 2017, and I finally got to see him at a show up okay. in Cleveland, okay. which was nuts to even see that in general. But it's been years, that's, and I've been that's so very like, sick. that's cool. And so you're just so a little fangirling. Your 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 music suicide me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you just you just did an al- you just dropped an album correct in 2020 I want to say <sighs> it could be 2020 it was, a, it was called TV filled yes Meta. yeah that if it's 2020 oh my god that's two years ago isn't yeah it? it is oh my god two years ago 2022 now Jesus I know Christ. <laughs> I, we've had a lot of them it's like Jesus so Christ <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, but no, that was the that was the one the album the song that I liked off it. Yeah. I really liked the fucking album art too. So I created that. You did um, that, okay? I was yeah. gonna ask you did that with the uh, diorama from Michaels. I, I I went out and bought like a little kit to build like a little tree landscape or forest thing, and like built it to what I wanted. Ordered some um special stuff like the tv that's on there and yeah. like the little dvds i ordered that on like Etsy. so you layered like 3d imagery no then... that's all the thing that's all i could br- i could have brought it i mean honestly because like i still have it built it's yeah. all there yeah no like it's like old like classic like walt disney like how they used to draw cartoons how they layered different no, pieces of it's things it's all there like as little pieces like i made a diorama like, oh it. like yeah okay it's, that makes sense I could pick it up and bring everything to you guys besides the lens glare. That's, okay. Scotty yeah. made that. He made that look good. Oh, but. like the little like crumbly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's sick as shit. Yeah. Dude. I, I tried really hard for it. I mean, so not, so wow. So you just like, did you just buy all these different pieces and yeah. put it together Yeah. and then snapped a photo of it? Yeah. And what, wow. What kind of camera did you use? Uh, I think my roommate's, phone I oh think. So really literally just that's it. <laughs> yeah. it looked really wow. I know, right? it looked really it was, good yeah i think uh the figurine the girl in the background was i had it from like years before uh, my stepmom she got at an auction and i liked it a lot and i was like i might use this at some point or something yeah and it was just sitting on my desk and i was like fuck it i'll put it standing up in the background and then <laughs> yeah i painted the little dude i did i did everything for it, it was that's crazy. super cool yeah. man i i really like that and that's the point you told me that that's that's very interesting because mm-hmm. like i think i seen a video i want to say a few years back um it was like a music video maybe like a lyrical video yeah. i don't know if someone made it for you or i made that you made that too i did so dude you got a <laughs> you've got a very cool style I, right if, if, that, if that that's all you that's very cool unique mm-hmm. and like yeah you're running right into your own like the corner man i like it yeah uh which actually i was trying to get with um fucking sandwich jones yeah to make a music video for basement dweller because john hart he just drops you in a group chat and goes here and do something you gotta love it, literally man. do it's something some, it's some seriously <laughs> enthusiasm man like it gets you going You're like all mm-hmm. right make it happen i right. guess <laughs> but I, we never went through with the whole music video thing there but i mean I'm sure it'll happen eventually. I oh, mean. for sure. I mean, yeah. If you saw, I mean, because I I've noticed that you have like just a few things, and but you you definitely are working on the music. Mm. Do you have anything in the future you got planned, like an album coming out? Or? Uh, you know, it's I've been in a stalemate almost, mm-hmm. like with uh, not writer's block, but I'd say it's kind of writer's block. But it just uh, it's not flowing as it used to. I mm-hmm. guess I don't have as many problems as I used to. So it happens. Yeah. Um, Got to find new things to write yeah, about. Which the reason what the song that Camry's about or the person that Camry's about um is who I'm with now mm-hmm. so like and a lot of my issues was from her in that relationship that we had years and years ago yeah but um now that we're back together it's almost like I I don't know it's just, it just doesn't exist in, right. in that state anymore so it's so hard to kind of write that kind mm-hmm. of music for it yeah I, I get you completely and then like with I don't know with depression and shit. Like it's like I don't know what I'm sad about. I don't know what I'm depressed about. So like I don't know what to write yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, because yeah, because I, I get that. Because I remember when I used to when I used to make music and write. Um, I used to get into these periods where I felt like I either I had to be in a certain place mm-hmm. to write music. Mm-hmm. A lot of it was like like I wanted to be having because a lot of my music felt like upbeat and fun. You know, so I had to be in like a good mood right. to make that music. So when I was sad, I didn't make good music in my mm-hmm. opinion. And I guess that's all perspective too, right. man. Like, what do you want to make? And also, if like if you're not making that, then you kind of like judge yourself. Right. Oh, this isn't what I want. That's from my me. biggest. My I'm my biggest. Like I can't. Like, if I make a song, I'm like, no, this is shit. Like, I even, like, have, like, a hook or something. I'm like, no, not good enough. It's like, <laughs> well, see, you can't. <laughs> I thought, so I really, listening, because I listened to the album before you, you came out. I tried, yeah. I, it's something I do. I listen to it right, right before, before this. Yeah. That's the one, especially with music artists, just to kind of get it all, like, hear it all and just think of natural ideas. But what I did think was, like, you're doing, like, really cool in the choruses, like, harmonies and dubs mm. and all these different mm. unique techniques that would be considered... And I said rap at the beginning, but that's not very that's not used nah, much in rap music. Not really, and, uh, no. Like melodizing and harmonies and stuff yeah. like that. So I thought that was really unique. You got a cool style and like it's like not many people are doing it. Um right. I actually referenced you, your your music to uh, another guy I had on this podcast, Alex oh. Irish. He makes rap music. He makes kind of like oh gritty, God. like mm. it's uh I referenced it to Suicide Boys. Okay. It's kind of like okay. that. Okay. Um, he's he's right from right yeah. around here and he he really dug your stuff. He's like, Man, that's exactly like what I like around here. Right. And uh and there's not much like it. And it's no. kinda cool that you two very <laughs> unique styles of music are like right here within right. the bounds of this town in which i i mean with my future plans i like i have so many because i i listen to a lot of a lot of music like like how like you go and see underground shit like yeah. i i try and find a whole lot of different things and like i take inspiration to a bit um from those things and try and like either find beats or instrumentals that are like that sound that i can maybe make a song out of or something so like that's kind of where i'm at right now so are you doing the instrumentals as well or do you get those from people (laughs) i've been trying to write my own beats but for the most part i scour the internet okay yeah yeah like just 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 anything and everything okay i wasn't sure if someone you had a, a guy specifically for that right that's cool though which i mean um scotty splash which i mean you'll see prod by scotty splash a lot on my um page on soundcloud and stuff um he if i if it wasn't for him i wouldn't really be where i'm at right now honestly because i hit him up back when i first was starting to do melancholy eyes like my first album Mm -hmm. type deal um and he was the one that mixed and mastered all of it, made it sound decent. I don't think it sounds good anymore. But of course, that's yeah. how yeah. you know, get. It doesn't technically. The further away you get from, mm-hmm. I mean, the technology just gets better. Yeah. Recording and stuff. stuff and like, like me recording myself and like singing my like everything gets better with time too. So mm-hmm. like, it, but um, he he is the man. Like he, <laughs> I I mean I pay him for it, of course. But like, <laughs> he will mix and master. He makes my cover arts and shit. Okay. He will. Uh, fucking what else does he do man he makes the beats he he, he does everything i mean he even works with sewer person too which is oh a cool wow thing. that's really cool. that's how i found out about scotty actually and if it wasn't it all this would it's just snowballs you know dude that's cool that's resourcing right there too mm-hmm. man like that like you know you have something that you like you have a style that you're trying to do and you know why not Right. Work with a guy that that right. that you like so much. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Right. And so you said you said your album Melancholy Eyes. I feel mm-hmm. like, and we talked about it a little before the podcast. I seen a video of your release party. I want to say, yeah, of you performing, and that was right up here yep, at Sonny's right. Vape Shop. <laughs> yeah, Sonny's. So that's what's so fucking funny <laughs> about it, man. So like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and name, I'm gonna start naming off a couple events. Okay. All right, and tell me if you were there. Okay. Were you at the rap comp? first one okay i was there for a little bit for a little bit okay for a little bit. i was there okay. so we were there mm-hmm. we were yes. in the same room. okay what about the second one that one okay so jimmy Which, won the belt the first time right and then jimmy defended and lost the belt the second time. i did not go to that so one you did not go to that no. one all right what, what other events were there okay what are at sunny's or at stage three there was a couple big ones I was uh, boardware opening. Yeah, I was still so, around when that was. So happening, I worked I think, there right? for a few for a few weeks when I first. Oh my up. god, you me. did. You did. Oh my god, yeah. That's me. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> We're going down memory lane, but we both have very different <laughs> memories. <laughs> and then that, around that time, you were still working on the website, trying yeah. to get for John for the stage three, I believe, or was yeah, that? It was around that time. Yeah. And then hmm. what other what other things happened? Um, uh, man. Of course, the last stage three show. That, that was I was a, there for yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, Dickweed Daniel Dick was weed. going nuts. Oh, Dick <laughs> he, yeah. he was in, he we was got going. What did you that night? <laughs> I, was, I, I, I remember him running around. I'm like, he fucking, what in the fuck is going dude, he got on? So hammered, he, he ran around. He, what, someone tackled him or something. Yeah, or smashed or him. Or he. Ran went into a, a table or yeah, something? Yeah, he like went through a table. It was like WrestleMania in that <laughs> motherfucker. He he went out to the sidewalk and just started barfing all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> yeah, he's got video of it. And I, think oh, old, I think old Justin Chambers was a little slosh too, actually. Oh, yeah, of he course was, he was. That is just Justin. He, it is funny. He was in that rap comp, old yeah, Justin. Uh, mm-hmm. And he, he got <laughs> he got through the, what, like the third round. I mean, hey, they just like good. they just yeah. like punchlines, yeah. man. If you do got mm-hmm. funny, funny punchlines. John pressured me so hard to try and join the rap comp. Oh yeah, and see, I was, I, I, yeah, I, you're not like a freestyle no. rap like battle guy. I, I've, I would, I could try, but I don't know how. It's well a that different would work. game, man. It is completely. You yeah. got to think like three steps ahead of what you're gonna say and uh-huh. shit. Yeah, and you can come in pre-prepared, but mm-hmm. then like someone's gonna if someone gets a really good roast on you, you're like shit, I need to say something. Like right. That. You know. Right. <laughs> like, and if you don't say anything, it's like, oh, that was scripted. That, you wrote that <laughs> exactly. out before you came, motherfucker. Um, oh, and also Lamont. Lamont, that, yeah. Um, Shout out to Lamont. He, yeah, he was the first time I recorded in the studio was there. He might have showed me some stuff back in the day. I remember he was showing me his son when he first started. R- L- yeah. LR Say, I think it is, right? Yeah, I can't remember he, exactly. He's really good, actually. He's good, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, I would, just, I would assume so. Lamont's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, those guys, man, those 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 were, those were three, those three guys: John Hart, Lamont, and Sonny. Man, they, oh yeah, they, they really, were running that street for they, they, for a good two, three years, weren't they? Where's was, where's your name on the door in the studio? I don't think so. No. Like, where we all signed it? Yeah, my yeah. name's on that door. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where that did that go? Still there? I don't know. Did anybody take that? Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. Good well, question. hopefully someone took my, that door, man. I had God, some legends. I don't know. That's some legendary I can't remember fucking somebody, signatures on it, man. It is. I mean, I'm signed on there. I, I, yeah. I, I think after I recorded, I did that. I think. Did I ever sign the door? I don't remember. I don't think. Did. I don't think I ever did. But I was there. I witnessed a lot of other people sign that door. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Now mm-hmm. you think, dude. Where the I fuck's even, that door? At? Exactly. That has everybody. I, I need that motherfucker. Right. right put that somewhere <laughs> in here. <God. laughs> I need That'd that shit awesome. in here, bro. I like, just put it somewhere. Oh, I love it, dude. That, that, but there was so much good shit, man. There was a. Mm-hmm. That was a really. It was a peaking point of my life for mm-hmm. sure. Just like experience. And I mean, all that shit, shit. That was a big part of my fuck. Cause I mean, I almost grew up at the stage three instruments. I was yeah. there every day. A lot of people developed there, man. I mean, Justin mm-hmm. Chambers. I mean, mm-hmm. he, he picked, he started playing guitar at that right. place. And I'm assuming that's where you got your music start. I and mean, uh, I've been a little bit dabbling before. Yeah, yeah. It was back when, I mean, I had a drum set as a kid. I never, I don't play drums, but yeah. Cause and, I mean, that's when we started doing the, the our first show and then right met seeing the funnies that was the first time mm-hmm. i was in there at the studio because i had been there like I, i'm from here like i grew up around right. here so like it you know i knew these places and been been around them but never been inside and you know it was like cool with the people that owned them right and it was just uh yeah it, great experiences from that time man it uh it definitely is a big part of my life that's it yeah it's yeah, the, awesome. the, that's, uh, I mean, you know, and it happens every once in a while uh, out here on the east side. There's mm-hmm. little sections that, like, pump and mm-hmm. start going. I, like, mm-hmm. uh, in Eastgate, I used to, like, do an open mic at Hank's uh, Pub, and uh, uh, my mom used to bartend there, and we used to just throw mm. freaking parties, basically, in that little, oh, yeah. little, right around there. And it was not like the strip was, right, but, right. you know. It was it, still something. It's something, you yeah. Know? So there's a regulatory to it, you know, like mm-hmm. Stanley's or like uh, Shady O'Grady's or something. There was always the, these different places we would end up at and be hanging out for periods of our life. Right. And that's, fuck, man. That's it's, what makes us, it's, it's, It that's is. That's what makes us. It makes the small towns of the some of the greatest, you know, I don't even though this is like a continually growing small town, but for sure, yeah. I mean, you know, it it's great. You know, do so. Do you have any like shows you got coming up possibly? 
Um, see, I thought this was a show yes, when we first remember, talked. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll bring, uh, what should I bring or anything? You're like, oh no, it's a, like a talk show. And I was like, oh. Yeah, you're like, that's way easier. That's way better. <laughs> like, I was like, this, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, you're like, do you need a set list? And like, you know, like, what, what should I bring? I'm like, no, dude, no, 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 no. Just yourself. <laughs> and like, you don't even have to be prepared yeah. for it. Like, just like, I'm, right. I'm going to ask you just some questions. <laughs> some bullshit. And I've you, had a couple people hit me in the DMs with, some openings or something like that but i don't know it's just i wasn't really feeling it like mm-hmm. it i'm still not i don't know i'm sure i'll make a show so i know i do that's how that's how you spread the word i mean you, it seems like you're getting a, like you got some good you have a lot of people see it on the internet yeah you know, like yeah five ten thousand people so. i mean on Bateki, i've got overall um the youtube channel i upload have my music uploaded to to have them make like lyric videos almost yeah. they've i think most of them are have like twenty k ish or something yeah. like that. So I yeah. mean that's that's and your live show from the footage I seen when you did your album release for Melancholy. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, dude, it a sounded people, good. Man. It seemed like it was hot. I mean, there was a lot of people there, yeah. you know, and got the crowd involved. So more of those, man. That that, that just builds, you know, personality and experience. Right. You just you'll fall further into that thing that you're creating. Mm-hmm. Which I was fucking nervous getting out there. Most of most oh, of people in the hey, crowd. It's good was, to be yeah, fucking yeah. nervous, man. Most it's people in the crowd were my family anyway. I think like, I think most of them were, and like friends were there too, which was dope. But yeah, yeah. Well, those are the you know, it, it, it's funny because when you get first get started, those are the people who are most embarrassed to do it in front of first. Yeah. But then like, once you get in it. Yeah, that's like the, the people who are like happiest to see in the crowd right. later when it starts to become more right. random. Because you don't know who the fuck's out there. You're like, oh, I, I, would, I, yeah, I wish I knew somebody else. Yeah, yeah, you know? It's, it's yeah. cool, man, to see that musicians like, you know, in a, in a big crowd recognize, oh, hey, you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's uh, it's wild, man. So, But it would be cool, you know, like, uh, like I said, I remember seeing some stuff back in the day. I, was just seeing, I haven't seen much recently, so I was just curious if you did have anything. Yeah. Plan. Um, yeah, no, I don't. I mean, besides, there's. I don't on, know. Man, I think there was somebody have some conversations on Facebook that messaged me saying that the, there was a show at the end of April, that at the Thompson House or something, and I haven't. Oh hit them yeah, back. I think. Uh, um, I think in the group chat I said that. What's or his What's his rap name? Uh, John. Yeah, yeah, Sean. Sean yeah. Hubbard. Uh, what's his rap name? Man, I like his song "Hocus Pocus." That's a good song. He's got a song remember. "Hocus Pocus." Uh, I can't. I'm super bad with replying to people too. Like people will message me and I'll be like, uh, I don't know if I want to commit a conversation right now. (laughs) In X I N E X in X. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a cool name. I like that. That song's good too. Hmm. We got, got, dude, there's a bunch of, a bunch of pretty good rappers around here. man. Yeah. And I come from the corny Brown County rapper era. Right. So like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and I think a lot of those are probably who I'd avoid. We're gone now. We've, yeah. we've, we've either quit or, <laughs> you know, like, it's still just, like, they got better a right. little, you know. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, on a higher up thing, but it's just, like, it's not what I want to do. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. We know you guys are doing a lot better nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys got, like, you're all in your, you have different things. You're very mm-hmm. original, you know, right. like, very, you know. Very, like I said, in the corner, like you have your own little space of what you're making and your own style and right. feeds into it right. for sure. Right. It's cool, man. It's cool. It's it's cool to see the difference. Like I said, I used to rap uh, myself. <laughs> oh, my rap name was Scoob. Scoob. Yeah. Oh, I think. Wait, did you were Maybe. you with Jimmy Clipper on a song? No, no, no. Maybe. Well. Well, I mean, maybe it's all the recent. We do, we do goofy stuff. A right, lot that's what the thing, the goofy <laughs> shit. The one, uh, there was young little kid, which is Travis. Yeah. Uh, are you talking about Trap Star Larry? Yes. So Trap no, Star that was that's... that was Travis. Okay. I am. Uh, I'm a. I'm a. What's little fuck boy, right? Yes. Yeah. That's that's my. Uh, a, a, what's what's the word? A, 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 alias. Alias. That's, yeah, that's your alias. That's yeah. my alias. That's your alias. I got gotcha. you. Little fuck boy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right, we got the song. We got this. We never released it. But we, we recorded it in a in a dungeon one day. It is. Uh, it's like called Elon Musk, and I, my verse is fire. <laughs> It's fire. I, I forget that I was a rapper a lot of right. times, and then I start writing shit, and I'm like, oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I fucking still got right. this stuff. Kinda, <laughs> what, what was it? Let the whip drive me home because I'm fucked up. And the Tesla ask Alexa if she want to fuck. Got the Wesson and the damn. Texan, they about the bus. Oh. I'm a flexing, they're stretching, got the Elon Musk. <laughs> damn. <laughs> 
what was it? No, I did a three piece in a soda line, but that's all right. It's, that's, <laughs> that's all you get until the record comes out, okay, which will you. never come out. Right. <laughs> I remember her first listening to Rap Star or Larry, and I was like, "What in the fuck is this?" And John was like, "That's Jimmy Cooper." Like, what in the fuck? <laughs> Dude, there's so much of that too, and that's what makes music fun because like a lot of people see like the the really good serious stuff, you mm -hmm. know, they're like, oh, this is like this is like talking serious, this is great music, but yeah. most of the time we're fucking off, you know, and just making dumb stuff, <laughs> right? Which is getting corny as fuck. Yeah, and that, that's how you make good stuff. You gotta mm -hmm. make a hundred bad songs to make one good. That song. is true. That is true. That's what Jimmy says. That's a that Jimmy quote. Speaking of them, you know. Mm -hmm. And well, no, dude, it's been great having yeah. you out here, man. Uh, Seriously, well, thank you. It's been a lot of fun. I I, I, I enjoyed this very dude, much. Come back anytime, man. It yeah. would, let me know. I we'll, we'll do it again. Right. Ooh, which I mean, hopefully, I can make some fucking music happen. Which I I have a song that I I'm not too excited about it. So that's what. Hey, it listen, just man. Stays in the vault. I'm excited about right? it. Now you just told me about <laughs> it. Now I'm excited. I mean, I've got probably two albums worth that I could bust out if i really tried to hey that's what mixtapes are for is man you know, that is like, true you could just pop out a quickie and just say fuck it like here it is this here is what i'm messing around with Here's now I have, and then maybe get into a more like important phase of mm -hmm. your music we're like oh well this is an album this right. is something that's a piece right. of art for sure mm -hmm. but dude thank you i no appreciate problem, you very man. much well, come out anytime sir oh, i will i'll definitely be here again this spin talking me talking you thanks for watching